Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and this is I Am Loved Church. Well, welcome to another day. It's snowing outside. Yes, it is snowing. Woo! I know it's like my sermons, I, I feel like they, they're, pretty, they're pretty hard, you know? And I kind of have a little bit of like, okay, there's grace. But the messages are hard. I'm not going to lie. They are. I mean, I watch them after I, I film them. And I'm like, ah. And then sometimes I'm like, maybe I shouldn't post that. It's too hard. But then I feel like God's like, no, do it. They need to hear it. <clears throat> so it seems like we're having followers and stuff. That's good. That's cool. Don't follow me. Follow Jesus. Uh, with that said, um, <clears throat> I know it's not Sunday, but I feel like, you know, when I get a message from the Lord, that message needs to go out. The whole concept of the Christian walk is basically love God and love people. I'm going to say that again. Love God and love people. And, the, and we share this world together. You know, and I know there's different belief systems and all that stuff. And that's for another sermon and why we could disprove those belief systems. But for this one is love God, love people. And one of the things that I wanted to be was to be a pastor. I was going to school and everything. I was like, I want to be a pastor. I want to be a pastor. I want to learn. I want to learn. We're ready. And I went to school and I got what I thought I needed or, and then it ended because I just felt like it wasn't, wasn't, I wasn't where I was supposed to be. And I wasn't, I wasn't really learning something that was like profound. It was just more like informative, you know? And I woke up today and I just started praying to God as I usually do. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I'm not really a part of a church where we're going to this other church, but we go every once in a while. But for me personally, I, I'm like, I want churches shouldn't be like this for whatever reason, you know, when I look at the church in this town, I'm like, there's like nine different churches, three denominations that are not of biblically founded of what I've been taught or what I've, what I believe in. <clears throat> so I don't even count those. So, uh, but the ones that I have tried out, I'm like, this is not, this does not feel like God's kingdom. Maybe it's just preference. I don't know. I've made some relationships. I've talked to some of these people and stuff. And someone said, they don't like people or the way they were, they were describing it, the way I interpreted it. They were like, they were even a leader in a leadership position. And one of the things when I read the Bible and I, and I look at Jesus's character, he was always around people. He was, he even loved them. He suffered with them. I mean, anything that they went through, he went through too. And I thought to myself, like this leader, this pastor was segregating, separating himself from people, saying they are the sheep, I am the shepherd sort of mentality. And when, even when we look at the Old Testament with Moses, you know, and David, I mean, at least how I interpret it or want to interpret it or want to believe about this, I know for a fact, when I look at Jesus, he was with the people 24 seven, like he barely had a break barely. And I prayed to God. I was like, this school thing is, I don't really care. <laughs> not that I don't care about knowledge. It's just, it doesn't feel like it's the oomph of the, of the faith. And when we're called to be a Christian, not just to be a leader or pastor, we're called to be around people. I work at a gas station or not a gas, I worked at a gas station, but I work now at a grocery store as a cashier. So I'm around people 
eight hour, uh, six to eight hours a day, depending on what I usually probably on an average seven to eight to nine hours a day. I'm around people. Okay. You know, I got my schedule. I get my weekends off and stuff, but you know, I have two kids. They're young. Their oldest one is two, almost about to be two. And then the, uh, the second one is coming up to be a year. When you get baptized and you, you start to walk the Christian faith, personally for me, <laughs> it's hard. At first, it was sunshines and rainbow, got my sins forgiven, you know, people loved me from the church. And then you get the bad side of people, the side that, that you thought when you got baptized that this is not, the, this is not supposed to be like this. You know, like we're supposed to be washed. We're supposed to be perfect now, you know. But that's actually not that way. It's actually the more you love Jesus for me, the more he sends you into hostile places where people don't love each other. And I mean, think about it. Jesus was born in a, in a, in a, in a place that was just so non-loving, I assume, right? Or he was around people. He was born into a world where God, in, in, God kingdom, in God's kingdom, it was perfect love everywhere. The angels, everyone was loving. And, and he comes to earth and it's just totally just, there's no love. And he starts to preach this message through, through, through his actions, not just through his knowledge of what he went through, what he learned whether he went to school or not. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to be a pastor, but I wasn't trying to learn how to love people. I was even trying to be a Christian and not learn how to love people. We were in Montana and I loved it there. I mean, the churches there, they were amazing. There was things to do there in those places. And people I knew, they, we had, we could re I could relate to them. I had, you know, it was, it was, it was chill. I enjoyed the Christian walk. And then my wife got a job at the school district and she's no longer there for her own reasons. And now I'm working over here, working at, you know, I've worked at this like kind of like, I work at an acid plant and then I worked at um, the school as well with her, like subbing and, and whatnot. And then I worked at a gas station and then I worked as I'm now working at the grocery store, people drive me crazy. <laughs> they drive me crazy. Especially when you're only getting one day off a week and then you come home to waking up in the middle of the night throughout the week and on your weekend serving your spouse. I'm praying and crying to God like, this sucks. Who would do this? Who would become a Christian? <laughs> This is just not like what you promised or how I interpreted what you were promising, Lord. And we've, I've been wrestling with God in my prayers, reading the Bible, just like, this is not, is this worth it? It's like nothing but sacrifice. <laughs> like, it's not even about me anymore. Like, anyways... Even though I didn't want to, you know, do the things that he wanted me to do, even though I struggled and fell down a lot, he kept picking me up. The spirit kept picking me up. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Complaining my way all the way through. <clears throat> you know, kept trying to roll off the altar table. He just throw me back on the table. <laughs> and then I finally just, you know, I, I finally won. Like it was an accumulation of a lot of things that I have not prayed about. And then I would compare myself to these churches. Like, what are these people doing in these churches? Like, they're not doing anything for the community. Nobody even knows that the churches are even existent. You know, they're all cliques, right? The different denominations, they're all cliques. They're clicky. It just makes no sense, you know? They're like, oh, we love these people over here, but we're not going to love those people. And it's the outside of the church is doing the same thing and the inside of the church is doing the same thing. And Jesus did the opposite of both of them. He bypassed um, ethnic groups. He bypassed um, 
people's opinion. He bypassed the culture. He bypassed it all. And, and he loved all people. The Pharisees, I don't even think they were even like, we imagine them, they were robed and everything like that. I think they were just normal people. I think they were even the apostles, you know? Anyone could be a Pharisee at any time, creating a reason not to love someone. That's a Pharisee. I don't like this person because I disagree with them. I don't like this person because we're different or they like coffee or whatever reason. People find any and every reason not to like each other, let alone forgive each other and love each other. So I'm at this gas station every time I, I keep saying gas station because it's I'm at this grocery store and, and I've dealt with the most rudest customers ever. I don't want to get too far into it. Even to the point where it's like, it's, it's, it's so insane. It's, it's so insane. I mean, I'm like, I'm really, are we really doing this right here? Are we kids again? Are we, <laughs> it's not even like you stole my lollipop thing though. It's like, it's like a legit, like someone's going to stab me, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to get stabbed or shot or something, you know, like for nothing, for these little, little things. And they, and they even avoid my line. People avoid, I see them come to the store. They avoid my line. Like they won't forgive me. Hey, whatever, you know? So, but what I'm saying is this, I will not still be there if I don't forgive them right when I leave my door, right when I leave my house. And I realized as I'm there working there, I complained to God and said, this is not what a pastor goes through. I should be a pastor. I should go to school. I should be, they should, I should be above this. You know, this is, this is not a job that Jesus would be doing. And I tell you this, I was reading a different gospel. And some of you guys are reading that different gospel like me. You're thinking that you need to go to school. You're thinking that you need to do a higher, get a higher paying job and, and people need to be over there and you're on this side of the fence and you're walking through the zoo and they're the animals. Some of you guys who are Christians even think and treat people like they're animals. And I know this because I did this and God corrected me. And you know what he said to me? You know what Jesus did when he walked into the zoo of this world? He wasn't on this side of the fence or gate and they were in the cages. And some of you guys are treating your faith like this. You're treating people like they're inside this cage and they're the animals and you're holy and perfect. You know what he actually did? He went inside the cage with them. So I'm complaining to God saying, I'm not like them. And you know what God said to me? Stay here. Stay here. Every time I wanted to run away, he threw me back in the altar on the altar. He threw me back in that cashier. I was going to quit. He threw me and laid me on there. He said, stay on there. Stay in there. I should be doing, I should be on the, behind a pulpit in a church. He said, stay in the altar, stay right there. And I stayed right there. Even though I wanted, my flesh wanted to run away, but the spirit held me there. I felt it. <laughs> it was like, whew. I started to see myself in them. Sometimes they weren't even having the bad day. It was me. Sometimes they were being the most respectful, most kind, and I was being an animal. And it went back and forth. And I realized something. They're just like me. If anything, it's like looking into a mirror. They have a bad day. I'm having a bad day too. And if I wasn't, I should, because I should be showing them compassion, relating to them. I know what that day feels like. Or vice versa, I'm having a bad day. And sometimes these customers who aren't even Christians would come and lift me up. I understand your pain, your suffering, your sorrow. Pharisees are people who basically treat each other like, no, we're always perfect. We're always holy. We make no mistakes. And you can go to church, be like that, going to church or not. 
makes no difference. Love God, love people. So that's the message. That's what I learned. That's what I'm learning. They're just like me. I would have never known that if I would have rolled off the tape. So now when I go to work, I find peace there with these people. Whether they're regulars or just normal people, I see they have a bad day just like anybody else. And maybe I'm just in my own little bubble and I'm coming out of the <laughs> coming out of my closet for the first time and you guys already know this. Praise you. <laughs> you know, amen. But for those of you who don't know that, God says, humble yourself. Because how he teaches us isn't the way man teaches us. You have a lot of mentors and people who are like, come on, like, let's go do this and go to school. And, you know, we don't need to do that lower paying job. You know what Jesus said to me also? He says, those jobs that you guys despise, like working at McDonald's, you know, working at a, ga a gas station or as, as a cashier, those low paying jobs, that's the jobs that Jesus would actually be doing. Those, those are the people he would actually be hanging around. You guys are making a lot of money being like, yeah, you know, this is what Jesus would do. Actually, no, he would be doing those jobs. And I thought to myself this and I said, you know what? I woke up today and I said, God, I thank you. I thank you for humbling me. I didn't need school. I'm in the world of hard knocks. I'm with people every day, eight hours a day, once a week on Sunday, ain't gonna do it. No wonder I feel such distance with these pastors and teachers because they're not with me. Jesus says, I am with you always, next to you. You cry, I cry. You lean, I lean. That's what it means to be like Christ. God willing, I get a church one day. I knew one day, I was like, you know what? It's not my church, it's his church, first off. And I said, you know what? I want a job. I want to be a cashier or a grocery, even if it's just for a few hours a day or a few days a week on, on the side of the church. And if, if the church got so big or whatever, open a coffee, coffee shop, I want to be there with them. I want to be serving with the, uh, alongside these people. I don't want to be wearing a business suit, going to these fancy meetings and having these big old councils like these Pharisees did. I don't care about that. I want to be with my children. And that's what God did for us. That's what Jesus is. That's who he is to me. I don't know what Jesus you worship, but I know the Jesus I worship. That's he is. He's God Almighty, the creator of the universe, who holds the councils before, you know, it's just an amazing like Star Wars episode up there. <laughs> and down here, we're servants. And he humbled himself and made himself a servant. He served with us and he still serves with us. He says, I'm just like you. I understand your burden. I understand your pain. But the Pharisees, they're too good for that. The church people or the non-church people, wherever you are, you're a Pharisee and you're too good for that. You're like, oh no, people, this guy over here, he's crazy. They're crazy. Me, huh. you know, whether you're a man or a woman. And that's the difference. That's what I learned. God's, God's plan for my life was not the plan that I had. Don't be deceived by what you see. It's pride. School for me was pride. And I look at those pastors and stuff with all their knowledge. I'm like, that's all pride, man. You don't understand people, but you think you have authority because you read the scriptures a thousand times. You went to school, you read every book about what people are like, but you're such a hermit that nobody, you're just so weird around people. I'm gaining these real experiences with these people. And they come to my line another day and I say, I'm sorry. Pride, pride. You put that side, uh, put anything alongside the cross. Try to add to the cross. Try to take away from the cross like Jesus' love wasn't enough. What he did. Pride. Pride. I'd say lay down your pride and start to serve where God wants you, not where you think you need to be.
Thank you for watching. God bless.